environmental disaster and economic disaster came at the same time, particularly for people in the Midwest and the Great Plains, people living in the Southwest, from the Canadian prairies down to the Gulf of Mexico. Drought for three years led in 1935 to a phenomenon where high winds came by and just blew away the topsoil. People could no longer make a living, so many, many farmers headed west to California because they heard there were jobs there. And to tell the truth, there were jobs there, probably several thousand, but there were many, many more people looking for work than there were jobs. What happened is eventually the jobless people started camping in parks and under bridges and along the sides of highways, and the so-called respectable people of California wanted to put an end to this. So they lined up on the state line, very often arming themselves with revolvers or sawed-off shotguns, with blackjacks and leather saps and batons, brass knuckles. And if you approached and it looked like you didn't have any money and you were coming looking for work, they asked you if you had $50. And if you didn't have $50, they told you, turn around and keep moving. These vigilantes, of course, it was completely illegal. Many of them, it should surprise no one, were off-duty Los Angeles police officers. What did surprise a lot of people is that most of the migrants were white, and they did not expect to be treated this way. The violence that African Americans and Chicanos and indigenous people had known all along suddenly came home in a way no one expected. And they said, we're, we're just folks like you down on our luck, and they were met with violence and cruelty. Woody Guthrie wrote about this. Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? Now have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name his name all over the land. You want to help me with that? Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? Now have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name, his name all over the land. Why does a vigilante man what does a vigil anti man a carry a sword or shotgun in his hand would he shoot his brother and sister down help me ready have you seen that vigil anti man have you seen that vigil anti man now have you seen that vigil anti man i heard his name his name all over the land. Guitar is not terribly loud because I'm not really much of a guitarist. I'm a singer. I don't know how good a singer I am, but I'm a loud singer. <laughs> Rainy day down by the engine house. Now we was quiet as a mouse when a man came round and he drove us in the rain. Was that? The Vigilante Man. Ready? Have you seen that Vigilante Man? Have you seen that Vigilante Man? Now have you seen that Vigilante Man? I heard his name, his name all over the land. Preacher Casey was just a working man. Steinbeck character. He said, come all you working men. They killed him by the river. That was some strange man. Was that the vigilante man? Ready? Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? Now have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name all over the land. 
now I go around from town to town. I go around from town to town. Wherever I go, well, they push us all around. Was that the vigilante man? Here we go. Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? Now have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name, his name all over the land. Now here's a verse that Woody Guthrie did not write. He didn't write it because he'd been dead for a long time before it happened. Trayvon Martin, now he was walking home. He's minding business all his own. When a man came round and he dropped him to the ground, was that a vigilante man? Here we go, ready? Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? Now have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name, his name all over the land. One last time. I'm going to fade out. You fade out. I'm going to just sing quieter and quieter, which I don't often do. <laughs> Have you seen that vigilante man? Here we go. Have you seen that vigilante man? Have you seen that vigilante man? I heard his name, his name all over the land. Vigilante Man by Woody Guthrie. That was Steve Suppet. And next up we have Judy Gorman. Thank you so much for being here. It would not be the same without you. Standing on the platform, waiting for the train to come, feeling that I'm all alone. I'm not alone just by myself. I'm where I need to be, or I'd be somewhere else. I'm where I need to be right now, on the street or all at sea, underground or jet propelled. I'm where I need to be. Or I'd be somewhere else, in a diving bell, a carousel, a citadel, a grand hotel, a photo cell, a tortoise shell, in a bucket gone to hell, I'm where I need to be. Or I'd be somewhere else right now, waiting for the melody to look me up and write to me. Music hides just like a cat, she'll lose you at the laundromat. Like your missing socks, your keys that once had locks, the days you break through locks, you leave behind for those who need them now. I am not Penelope. Good at waiting patiently. I'm edgy as a chimpanzee, but my timing's good, and I sing on key. Waiting till I graduate, till I free associate, and don't need to obfuscate, elaborate, arrive too late, or violate my rhyming dictionary. Waiting till my life's ideal, till I'm only beautiful, strong and real as tempered steel. This will never ever be, not for you and not for me, but where I need to be, or I'd be somewhere else. The diving bell, a carousel, a citadel, a grand hotel, a photo cell, a tortoise shell, in a bucket gone to hell, I'm where I need to be, or I'd be somewhere else right now. I think of that song as, I wish that I could be a Buddhist. <laughs> So, very lucky for me, actually because of Pete Seeger, I got to do a, a concert tour in Bulgaria. And it was very exciting, but it was also very terrifying because, of course, I couldn't speak the language, not that many people spoke English, and I was like, oh my God, how am I going to communicate with people? And I thought, they will know what you feel in your heart, no matter what your words are, just remember what you feel in your heart, and the words will take care of themselves. So I, I kept thinking that when I was singing, and the next day uh, they said, uh, oh, we like your songs, please give us the words, we'll translate them, put them in the newspaper, and uh, that taught me what I needed to write this song. Here's the chorus. Well, we'll come to the chorus, then you'll learn it. You all come from the water. We all remember the time when there was only connection, ours and yours and mine. 
we may be far from family we knew, far from home and first friends too. Wanting work we can do, growing roots and wings. Tallest tree needs roots. That's your part. Tallest tree needs roots. Smallest bird needs wings. Smallest bird needs wings. Try that. The tallest tree needs roots. Smallest bird. Smallest bird needs wings. We're made of earth and sky. We are made of earth and sky. And we are meant to sing. We are meant to sing. We are meant to sing. So why are we building walls? Walls only block the road. I'm not saying it's easy. Then you already know we all come from the water. We all remember the time when there was only connection, only connection. Ours and yours and mine. Tallest tree needs roots. Smallest bird needs wings. We're made of earth and sky. We're made of earth and sky. We are meant to sing. 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 We could believe in humanity as the whole of our own family and find a Brand new way to be, it's our only chance for survival. We all come from the water. We all remember the time when there was only connection, only connection, of ours and yours and mine. Tallest tree needs roots. The smallest bird needs wings. We are made of earth and sky, we're made of earth and sky, earth and sky, and we are meant to sing, we are meant to sing. We could believe in humanity as the world of our own family and find a brand new way to be, our only chance for survival. We all come from the water, we all remember the time when there was only connection, ours and yours and mine, tallest tree needs wings, smallest bird needs wings, we are made of earth and sky, we're made of earth and sky, and we are meant to Sing, we are meant to sing. Yeah. Woody Dorman, that was beautiful. Thank you. So, so here's a little song that I wrote that has also a part for you. All one piece. All one piece, and it's all one piece. You're a piece, and I'm a piece of the one great piece. Try that. It's all one piece, and it's all one piece. You're a piece, and I'm a piece of the one great piece. And there's another part for you, you'll pick it up. Buddha sat neath the Bodhi tree, and it's all one piece to set all sentient beings free, and it's all one piece. Jesus stood at the temple door, and it's all one piece. Healed the sick and fed the poor, and it's all one piece. Chorus, it's all one piece, and it's all one piece. Gandhi marched down to the sea, and it's all one piece. Brought an empire to its knees, and it's all one piece. Peace Pilgrim walked across our land, and it's all one piece. Tried to help us.
of silent springs and it's all one piece. We must respect our living things cause it's all one piece. John Lennon strummed on his guitar and it's all one piece to remind us we're all superstars and it's all one piece. It's all one piece and it's all sing and it's all one piece and each of us can now begin and it's all one piece to seek that peace let's speak within and it's all one piece last time it's all one piece and it's all one piece you're a piece and i'm a piece just the one great piece one more time it's all one piece and it's all People's Voice Cafe. We will be meeting every Saturday starting September 18th. Yay! And look for us online. And the next singer will be Sally Campbell. Yay, Sally Campbell! Uh, now, if we're going to do all this good work, we got to have a little less stuff so we don't trip on our way out the door to change the world. So this is... Move closer to him. Oh, I could do that, except then I'm in the sun. Yeah, no, 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 I'll move closer. Yeah. Move, move a little closer. A little sun, a little, little sunshine's good for you all. Well, that's true. I do. Uh, all right. Can you hear me better? Yeah. <laughs> you can hear me better. <laughs> um, anyway, one of my, my retirement jobs since I left being a librarian is to be a, a decluttering consultant. So this is my song called Beloved Belongings. Maybe I'll do it without the guitar, without the other one. Maybe this is easy. And it's less cluttered. <laughs> My collection just grew. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me, to me. Bring more, bring more, oh bring more belongings to me. I'm longing for still more belongings. <laughs> this hunger just won't let me be. But I filled every inch of my room up. It's maxi self storage for me. Bring more, oh bring. teaching verse. So listen up carefully. If you love it, then it's not cluttered. If it's useful, that's doubly true. If it's hard to replace, do not let it go. But for everything else, please do. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me, to me. Bring more, oh bring bring more belongings to me. You can take things off to the thrift shop, sell what you can on eBay, list on Craigslist and recycle, recycle or throw it away. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me, to me. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me. The rule of the three bears applies here. When you finally let go of your stuff, all that we need to remember is not too little, too much, just enough. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me, to me. Bring more, oh bring more, oh bring more belongings to me. Now loving belongings 
not sinful. Truly loving belongings is nice. But like adding another stray kitty, before you get more, you ought to think twice. Unless you have too many mice.
like to introduce my dear friend Sally Campbell, who is singing along with me, and now she'll do a song on her own. Sally Campbell. Well, this is an opening song, in a way, it, and it has gestures, so please both sing along and gesture along. Open up, open up, open up your eyes and let the light shine in. Open up, open up, open up your eyes and let the songs come in. Oh, open up, open up, open up your arms and let the hugs come in. Open up, open up, open up your heart and let the love come in. Let's do that one more time so people who didn't catch it the first time can sing along. Open up, open up. Open up your eyes and let the light shine in. Open up, open up, open up your ears and let the songs come in. Oh, open up, open up, open up your eyes and let the hugs come in. Open up, open up, open up your heart and let the love come in. But you know when we breathe, you can't just breathe out. You have to breathe in as well. So I have another half to this song, and it goes like this. Open up, open up, open up your eyes and let the light shine out. Open up, open up, open up, let the songs come out. Oh, open up, open up, open up your eyes and let the hugs come out. Open up, open up. Open up your heart and let the love come out. <laughs> and since that was such a short song, I'm going to sing another one, which is also quite short. And I'm going to use my auto harp. See how that works? No need to worry about the mic. Isn't that nice? Yay. <laughs> But I hope you can hear. This is my shortest song. <laughs> but it's about, and I sing it very quickly sometimes. No, I don't. It's called Slow Down. Slow down. Open your heart. Rest in the light. Slow. to make it true. 